80% of your rabbit's diet is hay. But because we typically give our rabbits their hay in their litter box, a lot goes to waste. So today I am gonna share how I preserve my hay and how you can make the most out of the hay that you have. Hello buns and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, our weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. And today I'm gonna teach you how to make the most out of your hay. If you're new to rabbit care, 80% of your rabbit's diet consists of hay. Hay is chock full of fiber, so it's great for your rabbit's digestion. It also is really good at grinding down their teeth because rabbit's teeth never stop growing. It has a ton of nutritional benefits to your rabbit, so all around, hay is essential. But a lot of rabbit owners face the same problem. A ton of hay goes to waste. It's recommended for rabbit owners to put their hay in their rabbit's litter box so that while your rabbit is doing their business, they have something to snack on because rabbits like to eat and poop in the same place. But you can see how that could uh, be a little messy and a little wasteful. So today I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that I utilize every day that have helped me preserve the hay that I have so I'm not just throwing money away towards literal hay. My first tip is gonna come as no surprise to the people who follow this channel, and it is to use a hay bag. The first six months of my time with Cinnabon, I did not use a hay bag, and I was dumping out so much hay. A hay bag is the perfect way to store all of your rabbit's hay, but keep it off the ground of the litter box. And to show you just how much hay you're wasting without a hay bag, I decided to do a little test. So here is 24 hours in Cinnabon's litter box without a hay bag. You can see there is hay everywhere. It's messy. She didn't eat as much because it's covered in pee. And I'm just going to end up dumping all of that in the trash. But then here is 24 hours with the hay bag. She still ripped a lot of hay out because rabbits are destructive and like to make a mess, but she ate so much more of the hay. So a lot less is going to waste. A bonus tip to really keep that hay secure in your hay bag is to use binder clips or some kind of clip on the top of the hay bag so that when they rip at the bag, it doesn't open. Number two is to buy your hay in bulk and store it in an airtight container. Now hay can get moldy if it's not stored properly, but what I have been doing is I buy Oxbow mixed hay so it comes with orchard grass and Timothy, and there are three different sizes you can buy it in. And I buy the biggest size, it's about 90 ounces. And then I keep it in the Cinnabon shed, which y'all know, stored in an airtight container. It keeps her hay fresh, and I'm wasting less money because it's always cheaper to buy in bulk than to buy smaller amounts more frequently. Also, when you get to the bottom of your hay, you're gonna find a lot of hay crumbs, essentially, and if you buy in bulk, there's just gonna be less of that hay going to waste. Because I never really reach for the hay at the very bottom of the bag, because it's not very big and fibrous and it's just more like grainy. So if you're buying in bulk, there's gonna be less of that hay dust at the bottom. And just a bonus tip when you're storing your hay, store your hay outside of your home in some way, or if you're in an apartment, store it in a closet so that your house does not smell like hay. My next tip is a little bit more effort on your end, but if you're really trying to preserve hay, you can change your rabbit's litter box twice a day. I really recommend to rabbit owners to change your rabbit's litter box every single day, just because it can get really smelly, messy, and they're out of hay. However, if you change it more than once a day, you are going to save a lot more hay because they don't have time to destroy it. You can put less hay in the hay bag at a time and really make sure that they're eating everything as opposed to dumping a lot in and a lot more going to waste. So if you have the time and you really want to focus on preserving every last bit of hay, changing your rabbit's litter box in the morning and night can just boost that. Speaking of litter boxes, sorry for the noise, Cinnabon is currently in her litter box destroying her hay as we speak. Thank you, Cinnabon, for proving my point. <laughs> and my very last tip is to add forage to your rabbit's hay. Forage is awesome. It's made up of dried flowers and herbs, and it's something that you can sprinkle into your rabbit's hay to entice them to eat more hay. And if you're enticing your rabbit to eat more hay, they're wasting less hay. So if you're adding forage in, they are gonna do everything in their power to get every bit of it. So instead of ripping it out and kind of picking for the very best piece of hay, they're gonna eat a lot more. I find that anytime I add forage to Cinnabon's hay, she is like sticking her entire face in the hay bag, just eating whatever she can get her little nose on, as opposed to ripping hay out and being a little more picky. So buns, there you have it. Those are my tips for making the most out of your hay. Hopefully this saves you a little bit of money down the road and it just makes you a little bit less wasteful because as rabbit owners, we are going through so much hay. So anything we can do to preserve even a little bit is really helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other tips for preserving your hay and I will see you in our next video. Bye buns.